Hello everybody. How are you? Ah, that's good. Um, yeah, a bit cold today, a bit drab, but uh, I think we'll press on. Okay, so um, today's talking point. I'm going to do a review of the Electro Harmonics uh, B9 pedal. I uh, recently got that. Um, actually, before we get started, I'll, I'll show you how I've got it set up. So, just bear with me a moment. Okay, let's see. Let's move on. And, uh, right. So, let's see. Can you see that? Right, so we got a uh, compressor, a B9 pedal, uh, that then is then bypassed up here into um, this fender pinwheel. I know there's a few effects set up, but I can't be bothered to change them. We're going to then go into delay, reverb, and then back into the amp. Okay, so. So just put that back there. Okay. Uh, right. So yeah. So the first patch, because the B9 has got a, a Leslie uh, built in, but you can't do the brake effect. So that's why I've got the, the pinwheel set up. Um, but the first patch is called Fat and Full. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm also using a, a seven string just to get the extra depth on. on but you'll see why as, as we progress. So, okay. So, um, now if I if I turn the uh, the built-in Leslie off and then use the pinwheel then uh, we get this kind of thing. So, um, if you might remember, um, it was about a year ago I did uh, the um, like How to Play the World in Action music. Uh, so, I mean, this is actually a slightly more accurate. Let's change the reverb just like a big, big hall effect, make it sound even bigger. Settings called jazz. Um, <coughs> now this is kind of based on like like a sort of Jimmy Smith sort of um, B3 type uh, setting, but I just like it just for. Its with that Nantucket sleigh ride, you know, the um, the Weekend World music. Um, if you're outside the UK and you're not of a certain age, you probably won't remember it, but... Um you know, that, that bit. Um, so you can do all that kind of thing. Uh now, let's see. Um, so if I use the pinwheel, Leslie, on that as well, because that just has a bit more overdrive into it. Thank you. 
but yeah, so we're going to do quite a lot with that one. Uh, the next one's called um, Gospel. <laughs> So it's kind of, if you're familiar with like the old Hammond sounds, then it's, you know, you, you get that by like uh, put, changing the, the drawbar settings and whatever. And, uh, but it's a bit like the old, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, so um, classic rock. Uh. Now that one, um, I mean, like, recently I was talking about like the music in the prisoner. You know the, uh, you know the. How does it go? Where's it? Bottom end. Um, I'm not sure I get this one. It's a bit more sort of percussive. Yeah, so we could probably do something with that one. Um, octaves, that's quite a good one. It's um, supposed to be like a church organ. Now we get you get like um like a built-in tremolo circuit with that. Um, at the moment I haven't quite figured that one out. Um, I'm gonna try turning it up. Um, Church organ. So, so yeah, so we could do that kind of thing. Uh, if you actually put the um, Put the pinwheel on that. Then we get that kind of thing. Um, change the reverb. setting continental that's based on a like a vox continental so it still sounds a bit sort of church organy So 
can try that. Uh, and then the uh, the last one is called uh, Bell Organ. <laughs> So recently I did um, a cover of uh, a Vangelis tune. Um, so if you've got like a sort of ambient shimmer type reverb, then it really works well with that. between electric piano and organ so um so you get a kind of uh, like yeah you, you get that, that sort of blend <laughs> So that's some um, so that's all those sounds um, but I tend to prefer this second uh, patch you know it's called jazz but it's really it's you know it, it just gives you that sort of um, that sort of 70s sort of proggy type um, <laughs> Yeah, that's that sort of thing, and I can do a lot with that. So, um, yeah, so I hope this uh, hope this was some use. Um, if you've got any comments, please leave them below. Uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, if you've got any uh, experience of using the the B9 or the C9, um, then please let me know. Okay, so um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.